Remember that. Okay. So here's the example. G equals A plus B times A plus C bar plus A B bar. Now they want the truth table. Let me get a ruler here. Red always looks pretty on TV. Let's do A, B, and let's find what the truth table for this is. So since I have three inputs, this is going to be the label. So here we go. This is the first input. Second one. Third one. Fourth input. Fifth input. Six, seven, eight. And again, I'll show you the shortcut after you simplify it. If you simplify it first, it will be a little bit easier. So here we go. This is A, B, and C. So A, B, and C here. Let's write the values. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. That's all the combination there is. There's three choices, A, B, and C. That means eight combination. Two to the power three is eight. Zero one zero one zero one zero one. Two zeros two ones. Two zeros two ones. Four zeros four ones. They want to find the answer to this. So to do that with the truth table is you need to find what a plus b. And I think that's what you did, John, right? So let me find a plus b here. I'll do that first. This is a and b. The or, when one of them is one, the result is one. That's a zero. That's a zero. That's a one. That's a one. That's a one. This is a one. This is a one. This is a one. An or gate. When one of them is zero, I mean, when one of them is one, the result is one. This one, A, plus C bar. So I got to complement C in my head here and add it to A. C is zero, when you complement, that's one. One plus zero, one. C is one, you complement that, that's a zero. Zero or zero, zero. This is C is zero, complement that, that's a one. Once you have a one, there is a one. C is one, complement that, that's a zero. Zero or zero, the rest of them one. Why? Because A is one, it doesn't really matter what C is. As long as one input is one, the whole or gate will have a value of one. Now I gotta find the product of these two, the end. Oh. So this is A plus B. And it, that's a multiplication. So take these two and multiply them out. Now with the AND gate, once one of them is zero, what's the result? Zero. 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 One. 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1. Now I gotta find A, B naught. A, B naught. Here's the good news. When A is 1, that's an AND gate. So when A is 0, it doesn't matter what B is, right? When A is 0, it doesn't matter what B is because 0 and anything is 0. So the first four are zeros. Now A is 1. So you want to make sure this one is 1. So that means B has to be what? 0. 
So 1 and 0, that should give me a 1 here. 1 and 0, that should give me a 1. This will be 1 and 1. You complement the one that's a 0, 0, 0. So as long as A is 1 and B is 0, you'll have a 1. A is 1, B 0. Now the last one is going to be the G function, which is what? The sum, the OR of this and this. Let's OR them together. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1. That's how they want us to do it. Now watch this again. If you did the algebra on that, as I said early, if you did the algebra on that, you could have made life a little bit easy on you. Instead of doing all these, you can go from here to the answer. Like well, it's up to you. You know, the only problem if you screw the algebra, then you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know. So if you factor this one, distribute that or the FOIL method, whatever you want to call it, that's a a and a is a. A C bar. A B. And the last one, what? B C bar. Plus A B bar. Now, if I grab this one, this one, this one, and that one, I can factor an A out. If I factor an A, there's 1 plus C bar plus B plus B bar. That's an OR gate. You already have a 1 going to the OR gate. See that 1? That means your result here is 1. Yep, even if I don't have the 1, in this case, that would have been a 1. Why? Because you get B and B naught, oh, right? But just once you have a 1, you're done. So here's my answer. If I do it with the shortcut method, with this one, let's see if we got it right. I'll call it shortcut. Let's look and see. It says, you will have a value of 1 when A is 1. A is 1 is the last 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. You're also going to have a value of 1 when B is 1 and C is 0. B is 1, C is 0. Where is B 1 and C is 0? That's this one. And that's this one. But that's already a 1. So the rest of them will be what? Is that the same answer? And notice how quick we came up with that table. Yeah. But for this homework, they only want to do it that way. That's how they want you to do it. You know? But now if you apply Boolean algebra and simplify it, you end up with that. So now I didn't answer any of the questions. The questions are, this given this function, show the truth table. Oh, we did answer one question. Sum of the min terms. These are the min terms. The and are the min terms. So this is sum. Uh, oh, I forgot the e. Sum of min terms, which is really sum of what? Product. A min term is a product. There is a product. A. A times one is a. So that's the sum of min terms. Show the minimum sum product the first one I think they don't want you to simplify it but this is a simplified one if they don't want you to simplify it when you look at the min terms you can write G as what sum of min terms there's one of them right here right and what's that term <coughs> a bar B C bar This one here, that's this one, the four. A, B bar, C bar. The next one is this one. A, B bar, C. The next one, A, B, 
C bar, and the last one is what? A, B, and C. These are the min terms, and that's the sum of the min terms. If they want it simplified, that's a simplified answer right there. We already did that. Or you can go through these and simplify them. Let's look at the product of sum. The product of sums. I have a zero. That's right there. So that's what? A plus B plus C. I have a zero here. A plus B plus C bar. Notice we complement the ones with the max terms. We leave the zeros alone. And the last one, that's this one, A plus B bar plus C bar. If I want to simplify that, look at the first two. This is x plus y. This is what? x plus y naught. That's a rule there. x plus y times x plus y naught is equal to x. So if I use that, the answer for the first two is going to be what? a plus b. Yep, that's x. X is A plus B. Now, with the last two, right? Look at the last two. A plus C bar is the same for both of them. Can you see that? So when you do that for these two here, so I took these two together and I came up with this one. Now if I take these two again, because you can repeat a term. If you repeat that, you'll have what? A plus C bar. I can't really simplify it because if I foil this one out, I go back to A plus B C bar. Yeah, I keep forgetting that those are all gates inside. Yep. I just Each one is like, that's a plus. Yeah, so that's the minimum product of sum. But these are your max terms, and that's the product of max terms. That's the simplified version of the product of max terms. Okay, any other ones? No more questions? I'll stop the video here if there are no more questions.